What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker, Scuba and Marina, and today's video we're going to focus on how to pair a Marius dive computer or an air integrated wrist mounted dive computer to say the transmitter system. Now we will be focusing primarily on the Smart Air and I got specifically asked by Christopher Dunchy if I could show how to pair the Marius Smart to the transmitter, but the same system will apply to say the Marius Quad Air and the Marius Genius. Now the cool thing about those three styles of computers, the Smart Air, the Quad Air, and the Genius, they all three take the exact same transmitter. Now if you're still diving say the Icon HD or the Icon HD Black, the pairing process is going to be the same. However, you're not going to be able to use the same LED transmitter as what the Smart Air, the Quad Air, and the Genius uses. So obviously you're going to need a transmitter and your transmitter is going to need to be attached to your first stage as well. And it's as simply as just replacing your high pressure hose or attaching the transmitter to the other high pressure port of your first stage, which I've already got here. This is my personal Mares Epic 82X reg set. Um, and I do run a high pressure hose as well with it's just a standard gauge on it. But currently I'm using the transmitter as well because I've switched recently from the Smart S Smart over to the Smart Air. So now what I'm going to do is actually zoom the camera in and I'm going to show you how we compare the Smart Air system, which once again, it's going to be the same pairing process that you do for the Quad Air and the Genius. But I'm going to show you how we actually pair the Smart Air dive computer to the transmitter itself. And then I'll also talk a little bit about if it's not able to pair, if you keep getting a no pair um, solution to the computer, I'll show you some things that you can do to help you get it paired as well. So let me get the camera zoomed in and I'll show you just how easy it is to do. All right, guys, so Mares actually recommends you doing it without wearing the computer. They actually want you to hold the computer up against the transmitter. Personally, I've not had an issue if I just keep it on my wrist and I get it close enough, but you wanna be around four to six inches um, as far as distance, you want to be somewhere within that range. Um, if you are having trouble, then obviously you want to take the computer off and just kind of hold it or wrap it around the transmitter just to make sure that you do have a good connection. Now, one thing I do want to state is, is Mares also recommends that whatever side you put your transmitter on, that's going to be the side that you actually wear your computer on. Um, because of the beam that comes out from the transmitter, you, you need it close to that beam. I will personally tell you this, is that my transmitter is on the right-hand side, but I wear my computer on the left-hand side, and I've personally never had an issue with it um, not being able to pair with a device. But the first thing that you're going to do, obviously, is make sure your first stage is attached. Make sure that your transmitters are attached. And you want to go ahead and get your computer uh, in the, the right screen to do this. So all I'm going to be doing is using this top right-hand button, and I'm going to scroll through the menus just by pressing and release until I get to the screen that says Set. And then I'm going to press and hold, and it's going to be two options, Set Dive and, of course, Set Time. I'm going to actually go back to set dive. I'm going to press and hold again until it selects it. And then I'm going to go through light, the P factor, the altitude, the water, which is either fresh or salt. And then I'm going to get to gas integration. Now at gas integration, which is where I need to be, I'm going to press and hold and you'll see the mode that says pair. Now when you get to pair, you're going to have three options from there. When you go to pair, you're going to have gas one, gas two, and gas three. Now, one of the benefits to, to the Smart Air, the Quad Air, and even the Genius, they will read different, and I'm actually gonna reset all this real quick as I'm talking, but they'll allow you up to three different gas mixtures. Now, those gas mixtures, or I'm sorry, three different transmitters, but those three different transmitters has to be on a different gas source. So let's say that you're diving 21%, you're diving, say, 36%, and say, 50%. Maybe you're doing some tech dives, and you've got some deco gases built in there. Uh, each of those transmitters need to be connected to three different gas sources of different O2 contents, or O2 partial pressures. So in a situation like that, maybe you're diving 21% as your back gas, maybe you got 50% to deco, you would set it up for two different gas mixes. Each gas mix would have its own transmitter, and then you could uh, actually rotate through those gases underwater. So once that we understand where to go in the computer, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to actually pair the device. And then what I'll do is talk about some of the troubleshooting situations you may come into if you still can't get the device to pair. So I've got my regulator attached. I've got my computer ready. And I'm just going to hold it here uh, just to show you how easy it is to do. But I'm going to turn the gas supply on. So I'm going to come to the cylinder. I'm going to slowly turn it on. 
Once it's turned on, you have exactly two minutes to pair the device. Now, as I do this, I'm going to simply scroll through the screens just like I did before. I'm going to go to set. I'm going to press and hold. I'm going to go to set dive. Press and hold. I'm going to scroll through till I get to gas integration. Once I get to gas integration, I'm going to press and hold again. I'm going to go to the pair screen one more time, press and hold, and you'll notice that it's set up for gas one and it shows NP, not paired. Well, if I press and hold again, you'll notice that the pair starts to blink. And then all of a sudden it will say pair, the P will be at the bottom, and it'll say pair OK. That means that this device or this computer is paired to this transmitter. Now I can press and hold the bottom button as a back feature and just constantly back back out until I get back to the watch screen. Now this particular computer, as most computers are, they are set up with an AC mode. That just simply means when you jump into water, you hit four feet, it's automatically gonna click into dive mode. Well, this particular one has a pre-dive mode. Since it's paired, I can go over two screens to pre-dive. I can press and hold. And also since it's paired, I'm gonna get two different readings for gases. Here in a minute, you're going to see the gas indicator come up over here on the right. You're also going to see a pressure here at the bottom. And I'll kind of see if the, the screen will zoom in. You see this dark line at the top. That's kind of like a, a tack meter or a tick meter. And as you breathe up, that gas meter is going to come down. It's going to start in the blue, then the green, then the yellow and red. And that actually corresponds with the LED here on the side of the transmitter as well. But also, if you look at the bottom, you'll see it in a digital readout. It says this cylinder has 2,900 and 53 PSI in the cylinder, and it's reading it at 21%. That means it's standard breathing gas. So that's how it actually reads. Now, I know somebody is going to ask this in the comment section below who dives with the Smart Air. How do you get it to actually display this while diving? Because one of the things that the Smart Air does is when it's in dive mode, it actually takes the digital readout here away, and it will only show the bar graph that corresponds with the color here, and it also corresponds with the color of the transmitter that it's blinking. Well, that's simple. When you're in dive mode, if you want to see both the bar graph and the digital readout, you simply just press and hold the bottom button for about two seconds, and that digital format will come back up, and it will actually allow you to read both the bar graph and the digital readout as well. Now, whether or not you want to pair, say with just a high pressure gauge as well, that's completely up to you. You know, personally, I like having that as a backup and I use it a lot. I, I actually use my gauges a lot. Um, and I also do it in that situation where the computer fails to pair, which leads me to the next part of this video. What would actually prevent this computer from pairing with, say, the transmitting device. And there's a couple of things that would. If your battery is weak in the computer itself, it will not pair. So we can test that by simply going all the way to the end of the scroll screen until we get to the info screen. If I press and hold one more time, it'll tell me what my battery level is at. So if your battery is low, say less than say 50%, it may have difficulty pairing with a transmitter. Also, if the battery in the transmitter is low, you're also gonna have difficulty pairing as well. So that's the first type of troubleshooting you may have to do if you're struggling to get it paired. The next thing that you want to make sure that you do is, is you want to make sure you got the right distance. If you're trying to pair and you're way away from the transmitter, it's not going to pair. So you want to make sure that you're close enough to pair. Another thing that you want to do is update the firmware of the computer. And to do this, you're simply going to go to Marius's website. You're going to go up to the scuba diving link there. You're going to go down to the computer link or the download link. You're going to click on it, and then you're either going to click on manuals or you'll actually click on the firmware update and then you can actually test the firmware of your computer as well to see if you have the most updated version. So those are a couple of troubleshooting ideas. Make sure that your battery's good in your computer. Make sure the battery's good in your transmitter as well. Make sure you got the appropriate distance here and usually the closer the better. They say four to six inches in one manual and another manual simply say to wrap it around. Um, and then of course, make sure that your firmware is up to date as well. That way you've got the, that best reading source, say between the transmitter and the computer. Now, the last thing that we're going to talk about is let's say that you are actually trying to pair this device and for some reason it pairs, but it doesn't actually read or it simply doesn't pair within say that two minute time frame. There will be occasion when your computer will actually pair to the device, but it will not 
do a digital readout here. What it's actually doing is, is pairing with the device, but there's not enough battery power in the transmitter to actually send the signal or that digital readout. Now, if you find yourself in a situation where you have did all this troubleshooting and it's just not working and you're going to have to reset the device, depending on whether you have the Genius, the Quad Air, or the Smart Air, the repairing process is going to be a little bit different. The first thing you want to do is shut off the cylinder. So we're going to shut off the cylinder where you're going to bleed the line. So you're just going to hit your purge, bleed out the system. Now, if it's the smart air, you're going to wait approximately 20 seconds. At the end of that 20 second time frame, you're going to turn the system back on, repressurize obviously, and then go back through the pairing process. You're going to go through your menu to set, then set dive, then gas integration, and then try to pair it up. If you're using, the, say, the Quad Air or the Genius, then you're going to need to wait anywhere, say, between four to five minutes before you can repair the device. Now, to be honest with you, I don't know why Mario's designed it that way, why one's 20 seconds, one's four to five minutes, uh, but that's just from the manual and way, as the way they did it. And I'll actually drop a, uh, a link down in the description below to where you can actually download the firmware and download the manuals, say for the Smart Air, the Quad Air, and even the Genius. And that way, if you need to download it, you can. You can simply read through it. There's instructions in the manuals itself that shows you how to pair the devices. But guys, that's it. That's how easy it is to pair. Simply get your computer set up, make sure the battery's good, get your transmitter attached, make sure the battery's good in it. You're going to simply turn on the system. You have two minutes to pair the device. If you have difficulty because you're wearing it, simply take it off, hold it near the device. You're going to go through the menus to the set dive screen, then scroll through to the gas integration, and then press and hold to it pairs. Once it pairs, you're good. If you want to see it prior to actually jumping in the water, once again, you're going to go to pre-dive, press and hold, and then when the pre-dive screen comes up, it takes about 10 to 15 seconds. As it comes up, it'll do a digital readout here at the bottom, and it'll also give you a bar graph, and that bar graph corresponds with the colors of, say, the transmitter as well. Now, you'll notice we've already paired this one. We've already went to the digital readout, and it's taking it a little bit more than, say, that 10 to 15 seconds. All I do is simply purge it, so we're going to turn the air on. Sorry, guys, didn't have it turned on. We're going to turn it on. It's already been paired. We're going to give it about 10 to 15 seconds. If that doesn't work, once it's paired, it should show zero. And then all I've got to do, purge the system. And then when I purge the system, it should show me a digital readout, say, within that 10 to 15 second time frame. There it's showing 2938. You can also see the bar graph. Now, these colors are coordinated with a particular pressure. Uh, I believe it's 2,500 is the blue and the green. I believe it's 1,500, the green to the yellow. And then, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's 500. You'll have to double-check the manual, but I believe the red is 500. It actually corresponds with the Mares gauges as well. So there is showing a thousand in the red. So the red may be a thousand as well. Um, the yellow is 2000. So I believe the green to yellow, it's right at that 2000 mark. But you can definitely check your manual because each computer is going to be a little bit different. But that's just a quick reference guide. Just like the LED that blinks here is a quick reference guide as well. Uh, obviously, you're going to either follow the digital readout or you're going to simply follow the gauges if you're diving gauges as well. But guys, that's it. That's how you pair the uh, Mares Smart Air. It's not a difficult pairing process. There are some troubleshooting. Uh, tactics that you can use if you're having difficulty with it. Obviously, check your batteries, make sure you got a good connection there. Um, and then if you got any more trouble, simply check out your local Mares dealer and they can definitely help you through the process of getting it paired. But guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was educational for you. I hope it helped help you uh, in the future, maybe pairing your device as well. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below if you've had any trouble and maybe I can help you walk through it as well. But guys, if you like this video, simply smash that like button for me. Definitely share it as well. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.